Hi, my name's Gareth, and I'm here to show you some of the technology that we've been working on with MathLeap. Uh, there's a lot of material to get through, and I want to make it really quick, uh, but uh, you know, please feel, feel free to reach out if you want to dig deeper into any of the uh, constituent components. Okay, so the first thing that we built was a computer algebra system uh, that can take equations like x equals 2 times x plus 1 divided by 3. <coughs> And as proof of concept, we're showing here all of the valid minimum length solutions to that problem. So we can see, for instance, here in the first simplification that we start out with the uh, problem statement, then we uh, distribute that 2, then we simplify 2 times 1 to just be 2, then we distributed this divided by 3 term to get 2x divided by 3 plus 2 divided by 3. Eventually, we move over this 2x uh, divided by 3 term. Uh, to the other side so that we can get all the x's together. We factored out uh, the constants, uh, ended up scaling, and got to the answer x equals 2. So that's great. So the first thing that we, we did once we, uh, once we had this technology was to, uh, you know, we, we were thinking about uh, um, automating uh, tutoring for, for algebra students. So we, so we built uh, this mobile app called Simplest Form, and uh, I have a little demo of it here. Uh, I can see <coughs> I have a tray here with tools, uh, not unlike Photoshop, except that you're edit editing equations. Um, I can input my, my uh, equations here, ask for a hint if I get stuck, uh, graph my equations to get visual intuition uh, by clicking here. Uh, let's just go ahead and try a problem. So I can try y equals uh, 3 times x minus 1 uh, plus 10. <coughs> okay. Uh, and I can graph this guy, and I can see uh, that looks like a, sw a slope of 3, that um, the uh, intersect should be at 7, and that's, that looks correct, so, uh, so that's good. Um, I'll try to solve it now by distributing this 3, okay, um, y equals 3x plus 10 minus 3 times 1. So I really want something of the form y equals mx plus b, so I want to simplify here, so we'll do some arithmetic. Um, 3 times 1 is 3, and then 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, uh, and great. So I got to a solution. <coughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so, 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 so that was, uh, uh, that was our, our first product that came out of uh, the technology, but uh, we didn't think that it would be very easy to distribute this to students, and that you know students aren't uh, going out of the way to look for uh, um, for for tutoring. Uh, so so we looked back at you know who are the people involved in education? It's teachers, uh, students, administrators, and parents. And who among those uh, those groups is hungriest for uh, a solution that we could provide to their problems? And uh, we came to teachers in particular that they're frustrated with grading and that we can use a computer algebra system to automate that for them. So that's how we came to MathLeap. <coughs> and uh, MathLeap grades assignments so that teachers don't have to. And uh, we do analytics to give teachers uh, um, uh, to give teachers feedback about their classes and help them answer questions like who amongst my students needs extra, extra help and uh, what topics do I need to reinforce with my students. So I'll show you a little demo here. Um, I'm going to log in as a teacher. Uh, here we go. <coughs> uh, so here I am and here's all of my, uh, all of my classes. I'm going to add a new one and say this is my demo video class and I'll go ahead and change the color uh, so that I can easily recognize it. <coughs> uh, here it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create an assignment. Uh, and so this is the automated assignment generation. Uh, maybe this is the first week of my algebra class, so I'll go ahead and choose this as a topic that we're covering one variable in your equations, and I want to assign on my uh, problem set maybe some questions in the form ax equals b, uh, some x over a equals b questions, and then some that uh, can be solved with uh, addition in one step. <coughs> so there we go. Maybe I want uh, more of these than the others, so I'll increment those, and maybe I want 10 questions in total, so I'll scale up the entire assignment. I can see here that I have a nice graph to show me the ratio of different questions in my, uh, in my problem set. Uh, so I, I can see six of these, two of these, two of these. That looks good to me, so I'll go ahead and preview it. Uh, <coughs> and so uh, just like I wanted, I have uh, two questions of the form uh, ax equals b, two questions that are x over a equals b, and then some that need to be solved with uh, adding to both sides. So that looks great. I'll go ahead and assign this. <coughs> uh, 
there's my assignment. Obviously, I don't have any students in my class yet and no submissions, so I'll go ahead and remember this class code uh, and log out and uh, log in as a student. Uh, and I'll go ahead and add my class by entering class code here and join it. Here's my demo video class, and I can see uh, I have one assignment for this class. So I haven't started it yet. I'll go ahead and start it now. And I can see already that the questions are here. I have, you know, we haven't uh, worked entirely through uh, the implementation of the problem editor, but it'll probably be. Uh, um, not, not it'll probably be. We, we, we already have a design for it, and it's uh, somewhat informed by our experiences doing, uh, doing the, the mobile app here. Uh, so anyway, so here are the questions, uh, and uh, now I can see that, I, that my, my assignment's in progress. If I log back in as a teacher, uh, as the teacher, uh, I can see with my demo class that I now have a student, and uh, that zero of my one students have, uh, have submitted, so, so that's great. <coughs> uh, so that's sort of where we are with, uh, with our technology. Um, we're making lots of changes, so we'll, we'll make sure to uh, keep you all updated. And thanks for viewing our application, and I'm excited for the next steps.